Hey everybody, this is Nojo from Thranda Design. I've been so excited to do a video for the de Havilland Beaver. This is such a cool plane. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at engine starting the Beaver. We're going to look at a cold start if we don't prime it. We'll look at a proper primed cold start. We'll also look at a hot start when the engine's already warm. And we'll also look at what to do if we over prime it. So first things first, I'm going to pull up the side menu here. And we want to make sure engine mode is on realistic. If we have it set to simplified, it'll use X-Plane's default, so it'll be uh, easy to start, quick, simple, good way to get up and flying easily. But for this, we want it on realistic. Now we also have down here the radial engine animation uh, pop-up. So this includes an animation of kind of the inner workings of the engine. You can see crankshaft, connecting rods, pistons, uh, as well as valves and spark when it's firing. Uh, but most importantly, what we're interested up here is at the top. Uh, engine starting and priming. So this colored bar gives an indication of whether we're under primed or over primed or about correct. And we also have a preheat button, which will immediately bring the engine up to takeoff temperature. And we also have a prime button. And so that'll uh, just apply a shot of primer. So we're going to keep that up. Uh, let's hop in. Actually, before we hop inside, our plane's really dirty. Let's clean it up. There we go. So we can control the dirt and scratches. Uh, use the mouse wheel, you can smoothly control them or just click and it'll toggle on and off. Let's have a clean plane. So, uh, hopping inside, right. All right, now that we're inside, uh, we're gonna go through the startup procedure. So uh, first things first, we'll make sure the propeller area is clear. Then we're gonna turn on the battery master, which is down here, and the beacon, let people know that we're about to start. We're going to verify that the uh, fuel oil shutoff lever is down, meaning not shut off. This is in case of an engine fire or an emergency. We pull this up and it'll immediately shut off the engine. Uh, next, fuel selector to the fullest tank. For this flight, we're going to be using the center tank. And uh, mixture lever. So we verified all three of these are down. We're going to move the mixture lever uh, all the way forward. We're going to open the throttle one quarter to a half an inch or so, just crack it open a little bit. Now the wobble pump. Uh, so that's this red handle here, and that is going to allow us to pressurize the fuel system. Here's our fuel pressure. So I'm gonna grab that wobble pump and pump, pump, and we're gonna make sure not to exceed five PSI. Doing so can damage the seals in the wobble pump. So there we are, just below five. Now normally at this point we would prime, and the primer's here. We also have a number pad quick view for it. But for this first example, we're actually not going to prime the engine. And we can see we're well under primed on the gauge here. So when we're ready, uh, ignition will set to both. And here's the starter. And I'm just going to use a keyboard command. And we're going to crank the engine. So crank, crank, crank. We can see it rotating here. And because we haven't primed, it's just not going to start. And you can see the indicator slowly creeping up because it is slowly priming some fuel into the engine as it rotates, but it's not gonna be enough to actually start it. So now, let's go back and actually prime. So on a normal day at sea level 15 degrees Celsius, it'll probably take about three or four primer shots. Uh, today, we're kind of up high in the mountains and it's pretty cold, it's near, uh, near freezing. So might take a little more than four. So we're gonna do our first shot of primer. Let me adjust the camera, there we go. Uh, now when we lift it, we can hear the, the fuel entering the primer reservoir. Let me turn up the sound so we can hear it. I'm going to push it down. And here we go. I'm going to lift it up. And we want to wait for the sound to stop because that'll fill the reservoir. Uh, if we push it down too soon, then uh, we won't get a full primer shot. So there's three... <laughs> I hope you guys were keeping count. I've actually lost count. <laughs> but that's okay. We're in about the correct range. So that's good. So we're going to pop back to the pilot seat. Now we are ready to crank. Mags on both. And we're going to crank, and it might take a couple revolutions before it starts. There we go. And now the engine has started. Uh, I have the sound down, so you probably can't hear it very well. But... Uh, so first step, uh, make sure the oil pressure comes above the red line within 30 seconds, and it is, and we can move the propeller forward to get some uh, oil circulating through it. All right, so that's the engine start when it's cold. So now, let's take a look at, uh, we're gonna, just going to stop the engine. 
mags off. So now our temperatures, uh, take a quick look here. Cylinder head temp is very cold. Oil temperature is cold. So let's hit that preheat button. Boop. So now we've preheated it and the engine is up to operating temperature. So maybe we just landed, uh, the engine's still hot. We did a quick turn and we're gonna start, uh, start the beaver and fly again. So here we can see on the priming indicator, we're already at the correct prime. Um, if we over primed it, which uh, yeah, why not? Let's do that. We're gonna give it a couple shots of primer. That's going to well over prime it. Oh yeah. And another little kind of half a shot of primer. There we go. So now, uh, now we're pretty well over primed. Let's try to start it. So mixture forward, throttle, crack it open. Mags on both and crank. <laughs> so it just started, but you could hear that kind of popping, pop, pop, pop sound. So now uh, let's do this one more time. There, you can hear it kind of coughing. So that indicates that it's over primed. If that ever happens, what you can do is mixture to cut off and open the throttle all the way and crank the engine a bit. And we'll see this primary. There we go. So we've just cleared the engine. So now we should be able to start it. Now with a hot start, it uh, should start right up. Alright, so there we go. So that's a quick look at starting the beaver. Uh, we did a cold start unprimed, a cold start properly primed, a hot start, and overprime. So hopefully that gives you a, a quick introduction on how to start the beaver. And if you ever have any trouble, you can just use this pop-up, uh, preheat the engine, you won't need to prime it, um, or just turn off, turn the engine mode to simplified and that'll work. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one where I think we'll look at uh, taxiing and takeoff. Thanks.